Hello guys. Ah, no rest for the single this year. Welcome guys. Today I have hot gist for you. This is 2024 in Nigeria. The slogan is no grief for anybody. Last year particularly singles had it rough for them like the pressure was so hot. The pressure was there. But you see this year 2024, the pressure is going to be Besser, like it's going to be more than last year. Anyways, are you an aspiring bride? Are you a singles just you know with faith you want to plan your wedding? Are you married and you just want the thrill of like preparing for your wedding again? This video is for you. Stick around, grab a note and a pen to take all the hot, hot, and all the useful tips I'm gonna be dishing out in this video. Today, we're gonna to be starting the marriage series how to plan your dream wedding by yourself so this is like going to be the part one of this series all right so we have the section we're going to have another video talking about um, people who want to plan their wedding but they want to use an event planner or a coordinator right that one is another video this video is for if you want to if you want to plan your wedding by yourself like i don't have money for event planner i don't have money for i don't have extra money for coordinator so i'm gonna do it by myself this is for you i planned my wedding by myself last year september and it was whoosh it was the bomb comment in the comment section if you want to see how that wedding went and uh you'll be happy you watched it you'll be happy you came across my page huh so where's your paper where's your biro or your phone your notepad it's time to get busy welcome to my youtube channel uh i feel about lifestyle family relationship relatable content food cooking content if you're new here thank you for coming if you're a returning subscriber thank you too and because of unana i sit down they do video today thank you so the first thing that you'd want to do you know after you're even if you have not see single ladies and single guys even if you have not popped the question I think in Nigeria, it is more in Nigeria, it is more of the bride that plans for the wedding. Most of the time, like the bulk of it is on the bride, right? So um, if you're a groom, aspiring groom, you can still watch this video or connect it to your wife to be. So when I said planning my wedding, <laughs> any this thing, this thing choco, <laughs> this thing choke. So I started dating, I dated to to get married i wasn't dating for fun so i knew i was going to get married to him right but the idea is i started planning for my wedding before i got the ring oh yes i started planning for my wedding before i got the ring so a good huge tip is to start on time even if he has not yet engaged you start create a folder on instagram create a folder on pinterest and start saving the, your color thing the the color you want your family to wear your ashwabi your bridal train it will help you later Start that another very you know stressful time for we bride it is to find a good tailor and style st no style is number one the perfect style for your wedding traditional wedding and cut wedding the perfect style then before you now find a tailor that can sew it for you so you know start start browsing through you. there are a lot on facebook there are a lot on instagram there are a lot on social media tiktok once you see any fine bridal style save it on your folder because when it's time to plan gang 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 for your wedding it will come in very handy yes so that one is a aside a tip aside the first thing that you start planning for or the first thing on this planning list is choosing your date and the season do you want to get married during the rainy season do you want to get married during the um dry season <laughs> for my wedding you know the climate has changed right september before shock november rain not the fall but now rain is still falling rain still falls in december self. so but the season still matters though you want an outdoor wedding you should be looking to to, to fix your wedding in a dry considerably dry season but if you're going to be making use of a hall the rain can still hinder, hinder your guests from coming on time or coming to celebrate with you. So, shall choose your season, the one that works for you and your your groom, right? So you 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 have to choose a date first. Aspiring bride, single Pringle that is aspiring to get married this 2024, start choosing date too. 
start choosing dates. Would you want it on your anniversary? Do you want it on your birthday? Do you want it by the end of the year? You have to discuss it. That way you're discussing with husband man. You will not be blank. You you will come ready. Like you will come ready. We're just asking you what date you think you bam, you give him the date. You know that you're not there for joke. You're here for serious business, right? So the first thing is to choose your date for introduction, court wedding, traditional wedding, and your white wedding. The second um, thing on the list to plan for is choosing your team color, like I said before. So, do you know the color you want to wear for your after party or second change if you're doing that? Do you know the color that you want your Ashwabi and Agwada men to wear? This one, sure, you have to discuss it with your husband, man, right? It has to complement the team color. Your men on suit and by that train their color is there too a lot there are a lot of colors though if you don't want to stress yourself me i did family color i i chose the fa- the, the cloth I, wa- I wanted my siblings to wear i chose the color i wanted my parents and parents in love to wear i chose the color that um i wanted my uh, anyway for my wedding both my siblings and the siblings they wore the same color right the color that you want extended families to wear normally nigerian brides your mother can help you do this or your big cousins but i did it by myself with the help of family members tip tip extra extra tip number two you need people if you're planning your wedding by yourself you need people you need friends you need people on ground another good advice i can give you is to make a list of dependable people that you handle stuff to because for a bride planning her wedding on the d-day trust me you do not want to be stressing yourself about have they done this have they done that have they you know you're, you're everywhere do you understand so that one is tip number. How many tips have I given you now? Two, three. Be noting it down. When the inspiration comes like this, I will just I will, I will just drop it for you. So you need to choose your colors. Mention it already. The color that you're wearing for your wedding, for your after change, as for reception. If you are doing after party, your after party wear, your siblings' outfit, your family outfit, your parents and your in-law, what they're going to wear the family what are they going to wear if you have association people from work you want to sell material they will still have color so it's a good time to start planning these things now and the best 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 app you can use to do that is pinterest trust me when i started checking for my colors i was discouraged i checked i saved plenty 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 colors i said holy spirit you have to help me because i'm confused and during the the, during the, 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 the the ending of the time frame i gave myself to come up with colors the lord gave me insight and i chose the perfect color for my wedding day so the next um, thing that you want to take into consideration is your guest size good remember that we are talking about planning your wedding on a budget too it's not elaborate wedding because if you have a if you want a very rich luxurious um elaborate wedding we definitely have money to you know engage a wedding planner but if you just know your dream um medium stroke small wedding this is for dream this is for medium and small weddings too. If you are doing big weddings, you need to involve a coordinator or a, an event planner. I bet give this video a like if you are enjoying this series. This 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 video I'm doing today. If you can relate, if this is tweeting you like, I can't wait to plan my wedding like this, like and and tell me what you think in the in the comment section. Oh yes, I'm back again. So the next thing you want to put into consideration is your guest size. Your guest size will determine the kind of hall you are using and the package you're going for, for food, for um, drinks, for um, for the hall. Yes, it will determine a lot. So it's very important. Your guest size, your guest size for all the goody goodies. You need to, that is aside from the weather and dates and um, your color. This is very important. So this will determine the kind of hall that you rent. But if you're planning, but if you're planning a medium wedding stroke, small wedding, your guest size should be 100, 150. Medium wedding, 300, 400. Medium, medium. So that's it. So you need to, you need to consider and agree with your husband. How many? What's your guest size? The next thing, in fact, before I enter the, this is part A now. I've done part one or the, the first section of this video. The second section, I'm going to be, we are going to be talking about vendors. You know how Nigerian vendors are. So that one needs special concentration, right? So I would, my advice or what helped me in my time was, you know, starting from the easiest. The easiest you start with it. 
I started from the easiest. So hall is one of the easiest. You need to just you know there's always that raining hall in your town that you maybe you've attended a wedding there before in your mind. Oh, I'm gonna do my wedding here. Oh, be taking note of decorations too. Instagram is a go-to. Even Pinterest is a go-to too, because you will be seeing decorators invent event decor. Mm -hmm. So after you've dealt with the hall and your guest size, you can pay for that one down. First of all, have your budget to <clears throat> before hall save <laughs> after guest before guest size, have your budget. What is your budget? Although most of the time, except you are an economist in a place in like Nigeria where the economy is, you know, it's not stable. You know, things like you maybe when you agree to get married, you you tell yourself you agree within yourself you want a three million wedding, a four million wedding, a two million wedding. By the time it's time for you to start preparing, prices have gone up. So you have to, you know, there should be an extra five hundred K for miscellaneous. Just trust me on that one. So your budget is gonna be there. Then you you know, the budget you go and start looking for holes that fit into your budget and that can contain your guest size. The next thing on your list should be um your makeup artist a lot of ladies do if you, if you don't do makeup you can skip this aspect but if you do makeup it's time to start looking for your makeup artist before now as a young girl you should be knowing those those people who are professionals who know how to do makeup very well you start looking for them you know save their post so that when it's time for you to start praying for your wedding you just go and check your set folder oh yeah this person knows how to do good makeup time to start reaching out you understand now a good thing that can help you is not to pay one one for your wedding you know they have packages they have white wedding makeup trad makeup and pre-wedding makeup or cut with um, makeup and bridal shower makeup you can mix it but the main thing that should be there is um white wedding and tr and um, traditional wedding makeup is there the any of the maybe cut wedding pre-wedding no pre-wedding is also complimentary or some people used to also add um um bridal shower or cut wedding so depending on the package if you pay one one it's going to be more expensive and the time to start doing this do it Make sure you find the makeup artist like two, three months before your wedding because towards your wedding, especially, especially if you're doing your wedding in the festive season, which is maybe um, the end of the year, Christmas period is going to be very, very expensive. Even holes will be very, very expensive. So me, before my wedding in September, by June, I already started listing my vendors. I started reaching out already. I started reaching out already. So, that, so that's that. Also for your traditional wedding, when you're, you know, looking for uh, a makeup artist ensure that the makeup artist that you end up using does okuku except you want to pay extra in fact a bonus tip ensure that she also knows how to you know these makeup artists are very versatile ensure that she knows how to tie hair too if not you pay extra for that but me mine didn't really know how to tie hair so i had to do auto gele and it came out very fine it came out fine actually so if you know someone who does good auto gele that's a good 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 that's a win-win for you but if the person knows how to tie hair the makeup artist knows how to tie hair you can also use her are we enjoying this video please oh comment in the session if you're enjoying it in the comment section if you're enjoying it this video, you know, this video is getting longer. I do not want it to get too long. I just want to know those people that are interested and in, wanted to, you know, take those important tips that will help them plan their dream wedding. So, how many have I mentioned now? I'm giving you four points. What? Choosing your dates, choosing your your color team, choosing the your your budget. Um, agreeing on your budget, agreeing on your budget, agreeing on your on your what guest size. Agreeing on the haul you use, your guest size will determine the haul you use. Now I'm talking about makeup. For men, your makeup is your accessories. That one is different. You will go to market for that one. Your husband man can shop for his own, but it's advisable to shop for, for it together. That will also help you bonding during preparations. Do you understand? All right. Thank you. So makeup, like I said, I'm giving you enough tips. Make sure your makeup artist can do a cuckoo so that you will not be paying one one. Make sure you do the wedding package proper for your wedding don't go and be doing one one you pay 200k for makeup for white wedding 150 for trad no 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 you can do 200 for all of them they are there we have the ones that are made or the ones that their brand is really really you know it is known now so they are pretty expensive they're also affordable ladies or guys who do makeup that you can actually also reach out to you will reach out a lot though mm -hmm. so that's where we are the next point will be accessories accessories you need to 
decide when you go to the market for accessories in my time i traveled to lagos because i wanted a lot of options i wanted a, i love options i wanted a lot of options and i wanted to get peculiar things that are not you know popular where i am i don't want to do what everybody's doing i wanted something different you get so i traveled to lagos that's where we got our accessories for clothes for the suits for the the white wedding the shoes we wear your clutch your bag your jewelries your normally when you're renting for those of you that will rent some people like to sew their wedding gown but i will not advise it except the person really knows how to sew wedding gowns mm -hmm. because you don't want to get what i ordered versus what i got that kind of thing so yes then um the hairpin earring I, I i bought those things though i didn't know it, it normally comes with your wedding package it comes with your wedding package so you buy so you can choose to buy it maybe for your bridal shower or pre-wedding i don't know choose to buy it if you don't going to use your natural hair to do your wedding this is the time to go to balugno market and buy better frontal wig for your wedding so when i say accessories i mean shopping you have to choose a date where you and your beloved will go and buy these things in the market accessories bag um bag shoes jewelries you know hair pins and the rest even your robe you wear except you want to rent that one me i didn't i didn't rent except for the white wedding you want a new one if you're in the market you can tell her to also sew for you that one is there your shoes your palm slippers your fan hand fan i will show you guys <laughs> depending on how many people request for it i will show you guys what you can get for souvenirs you see this one it's very important the electric one very important for a bride oh my god this is really hot so excuse me if i'm tanning myself back to business okay so it is there you also get your souvenir so have it in mind i'm going to be giving you good tips to get affordable souvenirs for your your ashwabi people that will take our time to you know contribute money to give you a gift to buy your clothes and all you need to treat them well though. go and give them any don't go and give them any how gift pack to treat you need to treat them specially because they took our time to come and celebrate you right so i'll give you um souvenir ideas later on in this video maybe in the part two of this video yay i hope you guys are enjoying this video mm -hmm. so um so it is in this market you also get to buy your um, your souvenirs for ashwabi your souvenirs for general souvenir if at all okay so um this is what i'll be talking about this is the part one these are the tips i'm giving first you know things to look out for when you're drawing your list you need to draw your list draw your rough sketch you can track write or make your list on a paper me yeah, i did with paper and phone if you have a phone you have notes on your phone very good so because i do not want this video to be too long and i want it to be very comprehensive i this is the end of this I've come, we have come to the end of the video now so if this was useful um like and subscribe to this channel for more because i'm going to be teaching out more tips this is just a part one of the series of how to pick for your dream wedding this is just a, this is just the part one so thank you for watching till the end comment if you are single or you are searching or you are you, you are about to you know come into the marriage like you're about to you're an aspiring bride or comment if you are planning your wedding and just comment how useful this is to you or if you're enjoying this series and you want more videos like this thank you guys thank you see you next time bye